Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Guru video. Today we're in Adobe Audition, the uh, audio recording software from Adobe. Uh, it's what I use primarily for everything that I do audio. Uh, it's a great program, uh, but anyways, I wanna show you how to add or change your microphone uh, to use via Adobe Audition. This is if you have one going through an audio interface or if you're using a USB microphone. Uh, like me, me personally, I use a audio interface uh, via my uh, my microphone into the audio interface and then into my computer. So depending on how you have that set up, I'm going to show you how to go about using it within Adobe Audition. Uh, so the first thing you want to do if you're on a Mac, go up to the Audition tab there, Audition Text, and then go to Preferences. If you're on a Windows machine, it'll be under Edit, and then it'll be at the bottom, it'll say Audio Hardware, okay? So go to that, and then once you're under Audio Hardware here, under Preferences, you're going to see a few few different things. So here is the audio hardware preferences tab. Now the default input is going to be the microphone that you want to use to input into the, 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 the software itself, which is Audition. So for me, it's the Scarlett 2i2 USB audio interface. For you, if you're using like a blue microphone, it may be it may say blue USB microphone or it may say USB microphone. If you want to get good crisp audio, the first thing you want to do is get a good either USB microphone or condenser mic to run through your computer or audio interface, okay? I have a video on that. I'll drop the link in the description box below. You can check that out. Uh, but you're going to change the default input to the microphone. Now, the default output, I always like to use my built-in output, okay? Because that way I can run my headphones through the computer and use it that way. Or if you're using an audio interface, you could even use that and plug in the headphones to your audio interface and then listen to your audio that way. But the output obviously is going to be when you record and you listen back to it, that's where it's going to come out of and your input is going to be this. Now, I will need to tell you a few other things. Depending on what your system settings are under uh, your computer, whether you're on a Mac or a Windows, here is mine right here. I'll drag it right here beside it. Depending on what your system settings are, normally you're going to want to set the sample rate to 44 you know, 44100. Uh, that just, it's just, you know, the way people normally send audio. Uh, that's what I like to use. It's easier to download, easier to import and export, whatever it may be. Uh, but you got to also make sure that your computer under the audio device says, you got to make sure that it is also set as 44100. If it's not, if it's set to 96,000 or 88200 or whatever it is, it will not work. But Addition will flag that and tell you, hey, do you want to go change that? So make sure that your format uh, under the buffer size under the sample rate there is indeed the same as it is on your settings on your Mac or your Windows. Uh, here in Audi Audition, you can actually click on the settings tab and it'll bring it right up for you. The buffer size also needs to be around 512, uh, you know, or whatever, 256, depending on how big of the file size you want it to be. And then once you've found your microphone in the input, now I will say this, if you click this down arrow here and cannot find your uh, audio input, which would be your microphone, go ahead and close out of addition altogether, restart your computer uh, with the microphone plugged in, and then when you reopen Audition, you should be able to see that microphone right there in this little tab, and then click OK, and then now when you record, boom, hit the record button, you'll see now my microphone is recording via Adobe Audition. So very easy, very simple uh, under the preferences and then under audio hardware. So don't forget that, guys. It's a little tip here uh, showing you how to hook up your microphone to Adobe Audition. Look forward to to uh, talking to you guys in the next video. Please like this video. It helps me out. Subscribe to my channel for more great content just like this, and I will see you guys in the next one.